Seriously. Really? This is not okay. Hello everybody, my name is Zenokami for Essence of Zen, and today we're going to be playing a game called Helium by the developer Rocket Ship. Now this game is currently on Steam, it's on Greenlight, uh, so if you want to play it, there is a demo available via Game Jolt, which will be linked in the description below. Uh, Rocket Ship contacted us a while ago asking us if we could play his game, and if he liked it, could we do some spotlights on it? So I'm going to play through it here, over on EOG. I, I like how... He has the menu bouncing between these four little quadrants. That's kind of cool. Okay. I like the camera movement. It's very panny. So if I move it and you'll see like there's a slight subtle tilt. It's kind of nauseous, but it's cool. And I think that's my health at the bottom left. I think I get what he means by art house with the pure white aesthetics, except for these crystals that seem to be, oh no, they're, they're transparent and wavy. I like that. It's actually kind of really cool actually. And the waterfall is really nice as well. Kind of curious as to how that goes. Anyway, let's go grab this, what the hell is that? Okay. That was weird. Oh, those are shells? Oh, that's cool. Let's see, I, I understand the planet is wrapped in the, oh, that's nice. Though that's probably not right in terms of the textures around the gun being in front of the waterfall. I think it's projecting the wrong type of layer. Anyway, I'm getting off topic with gameplay versus actual game development and mechanics. Okay. Oh, ammunition. Can I move these? Sort of, kind of, maybe? I like that, though. So, I destroy these crystals, and the world changes a bit? That's actually really cool. Oh, that's nice. So if you zoom in, you can actually see your current rounds. That's nice. And I guess the more circles you have in the bottom right is like how many magazines you have. That being said, that one monster took a lot of health off me already. Wow. Does this actually help with it? I don't think so. Okay. Why do these things move so fast? Like he zipped through the wall. That's not okay. So if I right click here, like the, the circle, I'm not sure if that's, okay, so the circle is where I'm shooting. However, the circle is not always in the center of the screen. The enemy mechanics is very, very weird. Very weird. And I'm not sure if there's like aim assist or if I'm just like just running and gunning. Let me reload real quick. Just in case. Yep, that's actually quite different. Oh. That had tentacles. That was kind of weird. Okay. that so this the cubes here appear to be health and the rectangular prism slits things appear to be ammunition see i'm kind of worried to continue on because i kind of want to see more of the the crystals so i know that i at least have some type of item nearby okay oh 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 you don't okay. oh whoa whoa Oh, it was not dead. And look how much health it shaved. That is not okay. Ew. Like a little tendril. Seriously though, what the hell? Please tell me that was something. 
I'm not sure what that was. I'm gonna go get some... What is that? Okay, what is pulsating? I see. Are those rubble? I hope this is not. Let me go get some health before I flip that switch. I have a feeling that it may be a boss battle. So, like, one thing. No, you. Oh, can I run? Oh, are you kidding me? And I'm all the way at the back at the be seriously. Really? This is not okay. Granted, this is only the demo, so I'm not expecting complete balanced mechanics, but uh meh. Okay. Get back. Where are you? I know you're not I know you're not dead. I know you're not dead. There you go. I wonder if my body is still there from where I died. So I'm not sure if like the rewind mechanic is saying that you learn from your mistakes or what. So uh, do see my body. Let's see if he has health and ammunition. Splendid. I'm gonna go ahead and try to flip this. Ow. I'm gonna go ahead and try to flip this switch and see what happens. Cause I'm I'm really that's like the first switch we've seen since starting. Like I love the the aesthetics, like the pure white and black clashing with the green and brown of nature. I I'm really curious as to what he want, gonna plan like to like the story and the reasoning behind these uh, shifts of uh, dynamics. Oh, look how much health those things take off, though. That is just not fair. And I'm not sure what that did. Yeah, I don't have anything. Did he switch to gun hat? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Oh. What is this doing? Did I... Did that do something, though? See, I kind of wish that the game had a sprint key. The aim mechanics is so weird. Like, please, uh, to, to, to Rocket Ship, the developer, uh, I would highly recommend adding in sprint and a better aiming mechanic. A reticule or something. But please add a sprint key. The sky, the sky box mapping is okay. It, so, when you're dealing with, like, space and the cosmos in terms of the stars, it's really hard to have a nice skybox image because there's only so much detail you can get in terms of light from a distance so I'm not gonna knock the image use but probably just a little bit higher resolution for the image because I think I can see some pixelation from my monitor on the skybox but that's not important because it's, it's not like a major uh, thing you're always looking at but there may be someone who looks out into the stars and consider themselves a Neil deGrasse Tyson or oh. what are those things the the things a uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson or a Carl Sagan and they may oh crap these things not oh, out of here thank you a Carl Sagan, or Neil deGrasse Tyson, or Bill Nye. And they may look out into the cosmos and wonder, 
what truly is out there. So I can go down this way, which I'm sure some enemies is going to spawn, or I can walk up oh, here. It seems to be a gate. I'm sure that is a gate. No transmissions. I'm not sure if I'm actually ever going to see a transmission. Oh. I think I'm getting ever so slightly better at this. So he doesn't jump high. So I, don't, I don't think I could have made it across those jumping bridges. I think I took, I took the best route. Because I do not want to die and start all the way back over from that location. Oh! Okay, I was expecting, like, to ju Okay, well. Who am I to, to judge? Nice sound effects. Oh! Okay, then. That does it for the demo. Um, The game is really subtle with everything they're trying to do so th there's in the demo no story point elements whatsoever but apparently we know that we're the 27th crew member from the starfleet of stellar six so there there's that but nothing explains to why the planet so obviously the planet is coded into something and as you go forth destroying those crystals or those creatures that create those crystals the planet returns to its natural state however that doesn't explain why you, the crew member, is in an all-white patchy suit. Uh, I, I get for the planet, but why is the suit also the same color as the material? Uh, why is uh, the gun also that minimalistic? I like the gun, don't get me wrong. It's really cool looking. But it, it, I, I, I'm, I'm just hoping that when the, when the full games come out, that there's a reason for the, the artistic formality of it rather uh, one thing that I also didn't like is the the, the the enemies don't seem balanced they move extremely fast for a weird aiming mechanic and I think that can be fine-tuned on the developers side that being said when you die you go all the way back to the beginning I would probably highly recommend a checkpoint system or maybe uh, don't restart the entire instance so if you kill an enemy and you die in the, in, later on and you go all the way to the beginning don't respawn the earlier baggage that you've already killed. But that's besides the point as well. Uh, it, I'm overall, I'm very interested in seeing where this goes and how this develops over time. Uh, but yeah, there, there needs to be a little bit more done in terms of the fine tuning, and that is totally fine. These are also my opinions, and it's, it's a demo. You can't expect a demo to play as a full-fledged release game. You don't. That being said, though, I, I love the artistic direction. You know, the the, the screen title, the, you, you're also given this white screen border. So this is not like uh, resolution issues. The developer literally put in a type of white screen um, bezels for the top and bottom. And I it, 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 it fits, I don't know, it feels like I'm playing something from, uh, or I'm playing a movie from the 60s or the 70s that had like this really natural, simplistic yet, uh, theatric feel to it and I, I like it I really do so to rocket ship please keep pushing this game forward I, I do hope to see more fine-tuning in terms of the mechanics especially the aiming mechanic um, and probably some more enemies and maybe a little bit more physical uh, model for them because they really are kind of hard to aim and maybe that's why you had the aiming mechanic be the way that it was the kind of aim assist that I saw uh, but I'm thrilled, man. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy. I will be doing a indie game spotlight showcasing more of the points that I've said at the end of this particular video uh, over at the main channel. That's youtube.com slash essence of zen. But that pretty much does it for this particular video, guys. So if you want to see more coverage of this game, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to check out their green light over at Steam and the Game Jolt demo. I've been Zona coming from SNSN. I will see you all in the next video, but until then, as always, take care.